Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. It's a timely reminder to set aside all of the busyness of our lives and to enter into a time of sacred prayer and meditation, time of quietness, time of reflection, a time of opening our hearts to the presence of divine love within us. So as we begin, I invite you to sit back in your seat, to get comfortable. And if you have not done so, perhaps close your eyes. Begin to intentionally shut out the external world. Just focus on your breath, and on your heartbeat. and on the pulsation of life flowing throughout the body temple. Those two great mystical words, be still. and in the stillness. Truly become open and receptive to divine guidance, to divine inspiration, to divine will. To divine information allowing the spirit within to bring you fully present to those particular now moments in which we know that God is and we are For in those moments we transcend the, outer, the outside world. We transcend uh, supposed challenges and difficulties. And we become fully receptive to the reality that we are super beings in these human bodies endowed with infinite possibilities. Infinite possibilities to love and be loved. infinite possibilities to encounter any challenge in life with faith and wisdom and good judgment and understanding. And through those encounters, Be reminded that we are that I am.
So take another deep breath. Relax. And for the next few moments, just be quiet and still. As we bring this time to a close, we give thanks for the blessings of peace and harmony, friendship and fellowship in our nation and in our world. We offer up a prayer of support for all of the people who have been harmed over the past week through senseless violence. And we know that we live in a world that is much more capable of, of peace and love and harmony. We know it in our hearts, we know it in our souls, we know it in our spirits, and we allow it to be. Thank you, God. And so it is. And amen. <laughs>